There is not a revival of miracles. Make no mistakes about that. The revival that is coming is not a revival of signs and wonders. It is the emergence of Christ. A generation that walk in the fullness of the stature of the sun will arise. A generation that can go to the gates of the enemy and say, lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, that the King of glory may come in. And when the devil challenges you, who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong, mighty, he is the King of glory. That's the revival coming. It's a revival of sons. Sons that can bear burden that even if it has to do with martyrdom, they are willing to die. For me to perish, I will perish. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. The revival that is coming is not a revival of open doors for us to travel abroad. The revival that is coming is not a revival that is going to make us famous. The revival that is coming is a revival that will raise sons that can bear the burdens of Abba. How much burdens can you carry? How much burdens? In the area of prayer, how much burdens can you carry? In the area of finances, how much burdens can you carry? When God is looking for men, will you be counted? Those are the things that drive us in the last day. Oh Lord, if you are looking for one man, let me be that man. And if it means dying, it's an honor. Those are the men God is looking for. Make no mistakes, he's not moved by number. Because God knows how numbers work. People can be many, but they are not relevant. But the Bible said, Paul and Barnabas, he said, these be the men that turn their walls upside down. A thousand priests could not turn their walls upside down. They sat in the, in, the, in the church as high priests. It was a Sanhedrin. There were scribes and Pharisees, but there was darkness. But two militants rose up. And they said, we will take the nations for Christ. And every territory they went to, they created an uproar. They said, what is happening? Paul and Barnabas is there. A point came, they went to Ikonu. And they said, the same men that caused problem in Debe, they have come to us. Because everywhere they go, unless they don't find what God is doing. Even when God is not talking, they are searching for bodies. Paul came into the city. The Holy Ghost didn't talk to him. And he went out. He was looking for bodies. Lord, you are saying something about this land. I can't sit inside. Well, what will I be in one place? What are you saying? And he found somewhere when it was written to the unknown God. He found his pathway. He came into the, the temple. And he said, this God that you call the unknown God, that's the one I serve. Sit down. Let me tell you about him. The Holy Ghost had not spoken, but bodies will not let him rest. When men are sleeping, they stand up at night, and then you hear a sound from the other room. Koko kaka, riyamamro teke kakuwa, balaku kakute katakako. You andete. You say, come on, people are sleeping. What's going on there? A song is crying. A song is crying. When will you deliver Abuja? When will you deliver Nigeria? And you think, oh, people are sleeping. You can't hear a snore. Omena komeaka. You may be wondering what is going on. You may call them mad, but they are driven by bodies. Those are the people God is looking for. Only an encounter will make it happen. It's not stories that make such men. Because sometimes when you begin to pray those bodies, you become obscure. You may be popular before you started praying. Maybe your life was in cruise mode until you now started praying for the nations. Then the princes now hear you. Say, ah, who is this bringing this signal? They will come and crumble your job. If you don't know what matters, you will tell God, sorry, I came to the wrong location. You will run back. <laughs> you don't know warfare. When the prince is here, they are certain words you are not permitted to say. When you say it, they will ask you, where did you learn it from? Those are sacred words that were given as codes to unlock territories. How come you know this word? That you utter this word, you will be in trouble. But it's a good kind of trouble. Because if it will advance the kingdom, throw your best shot. That's what God is looking for. He's looking for sons. Sons who can bear the burdens of the kingdom. The old priesthood have played their part. I came to tell you that a new era is about to emerge. Thank God for their neighbors. But there's a new sound from Zion. And this sound is not about church congregation. This sound is not about gatherings. We may continue to gather, yes. Because the church is the training center of revival. But much more than gathering, a sound 
hope is coming from heaven for those who have the capacity to take territories to take nations when they read the scripture my spirit came alive he said ask of me i'm not giving you a church i will give you the leading for an inheritance the utmost part of the earth for your possession there are men that will take lagos there are men that will take afghanistan there are men that will take the united kingdom and they will push back the princes of darkness because they have come the time is now the powers of heaven will respond to their voice because they have come to, to bring the business of emancipation it is for this purpose that we are here it is for this purpose that we are gathered to sound the shofar that a new season is upon us we are not moving because we are ambitious we are moving because a burden drives us we can no longer be quiet there is something in our spirit that the Holy Ghost wants to give expression to. The Holy Ghost is looking for access. He wants to find new battle. He can't be caged anymore. Darkness must be caused to move back. But sons must rise. Sons must rise. And you are one of those sons. You cease to be a church member. You cease to be a member of an apostolic center. You will become a citizen of a kingdom. Because you will play your body, you will play your part, and you will play your mark. He said, until the time of John, the kingdom of God suffered violence. But the violence takes it by force. The time has come for men who will seize kingdoms to rise. Those ones, their designation is sons. You were blessed by the message you just listened to and wish to make Jesus your Lord and personal Savior. Kindly repeat this prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe in your Son, Jesus Christ, and that He died for my sins and was raised from the dead for my justification. I therefore confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I am born again. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. If you just said this prayer, please send us an email on amodiscipleship at gmail.com or reach us on our website or com to enable us to reach you and afford us the privilege to disciple you. God bless you.